I have pre-cut a stencil shape today. Sometimes I'll just cut some random shapes out of paper until one of them calls out to me. This is the one that called out. Let's make a flower with this shape. So I've got an idea here. I've, um, I was standing with my feet in some dirt and I was looking around me and I was noticing that nature as a designer loves patterns. But, but there's also, but nature also as a designer loves randomness. It's like a combination of patterns and randomness that like define nature as a designer. So let's, let's try to imitate that here with this flower today. I'm gonna use this same stencil over and over again to give us the sense of a pattern, um, but then I'm also gonna randomize what I'm doing with it. So. Some of these shapes are gonna overlap. You'll notice I'm only using half of this half of this stencil. I might use the whole thing later, but right now I'm just kind of uh, using this half crescent. I'm liking that. Sometimes I'll just cut a stencil at random. You can see on the other side of my paper there, there's a bit of like a starburst. I haven't used it yet. I'll just cut some shapes, cut some random shapes into paper, and uh, wait for one to call out to me. This this one, I wanted to use this, this um, kind of squished egg, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just using the half crescent here. So, I'm overlapping. It's kind of a random cluster. Let's put one down here too. All right, now we're ready for the bloom. I'm gonna change it up a little bit and use, yeah, the whole stencil. This is crazy. Get ready. Okay, so yeah, this this squished egg. I'm gonna actually use a solid color here, just to kind of differentiate it from from uh, what I'm now thinking of as the leaves. You'll notice I'm 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 uh, kind of tiptoeing up to the edge of my other colors. This one I don't want to overlap. Um, just a decision I made, spur of the moment here. But that looks pretty cool. I like the um, the kind of uh, shimmer that that raw, rough edge gives when it's next to all these hard edges the stencils are giving us. All right, here we go. We're going to now make order of chaos with a stalk. I'm going to draw a thoroughfare, a line straight down, kind of sort of connecting all of the random shapes we've made you know I I, I, I should leave it like this but I, yeah I'm gonna leave that one they don't all have to be right touching the stock you know the, the, your eye will connect everything uh, there as I said leave it alone I um, connected stuff but you don't you don't have to it, I think it looked actually actually a little cooler when there were some floating leaves but all right, now let's get down here and, uh, and, and I'm gonna use the whole stencil down here again. I used the whole stencil up on the bloom of the flower and I'm just thinking about patterns, top and bottom of the illustration, like a reflection. Reflections make cool dual patterns, right? So we've kind of got a similar shape up top as we do on the bottom. Our flower is grounded. It's growing. It's not plucked and laying on a table. That's nice. Mm -hmm. All right, one last thing. Let's make some petals. We're gonna stylize these petals. I'm making uh, a series of half circles, like a, a rainbow, or like the pattern on a clamshell inside the bloom of our flower. Here, that gives it some depth and layering. Don't forget to sign your name. Mm -hmm.